So today we're going to be talking about something that has got me basically overthinking every decision that I've ever made and I'm continuing to make. Yeah, and it's kind of ruining my life. And honestly, it, it might ruin yours too. So this should be a lot of fun. This video is about the butterfly effect. Now, along with briefly describing this theory, I'm also gonna be sharing some of the most famous examples of it, along with some lesser known ones that I found on Reddit. And I might even share a personal story or two of my own, if you smash that like button. Just kidding, I have no way of knowing, but please like. And real quick, before the video starts, I wanna give a quick shout out to the two people who actually suggested this video. You guys are the real MVPs, and I love you. So let's get right into this. So the official definition of the butterfly effect is a property of chaotic systems, such as the atmosphere, by which small changes in initial conditions can lead to large scale and unpredictable variation in the future state of the system. Okay, so uh, what the fuck? So if you didn't understand any of this, uh, you're not alone, I am right there with you. So let me try and put this in simpler terms. The butterfly effect is the idea that the smallest actions can have non-linear impacts on our world. And the name itself came from the idea that a butterfly flapping its wings here in the United States could eventually cause a typhoon over in China. Now, although that example may be hyperbolic, the theory itself actually makes a lot of sense. Every action you make has a reaction, which has another reaction, which has another reaction, and so on and so on until the reaction gets so big that it causes a change in the whole world. So if you're confused, here's an example. Let's say you wake up in the morning and decide to sleep in an extra five minutes, which is something I often do, but because you slept an extra five minutes, you're now running late to work. And because you're running late to work, you decide to drive a little bit faster than usual on your way there. And this causes you to get into an accident which affects your life and it affects the person you got in a crash with and all the people surrounding that person. So already we're branching out here. And maybe because of this accident, the state decides that the speed limit is too high on this one particular road and they lower the speed limit. And the effects from that are limitless. Maybe it reduces the amount of accidents, saves more lives, or maybe it has the opposite effect and causes more accidents. I mean, who knows? But all of this stemmed from the fact that you've decided to sleep in just an extra five minutes. So when you put it in a way like that, it's crazy to think that every decision you make could have such a long-term effect that you would have no idea of at the time of making that decision. Now, this theory has always been really interesting to me, and one of the most interesting parts of it is the effects it would have on time travel. Because if every action has a reaction that shapes the future, then this would make traveling back in time extremely dangerous. Because if you were to go back and change just one thing, then that would have a lasting effect on the future you came from. So something as small as moving one blade of grass or stepping on a bug would shape the place that you came from, the future. And that one little change maybe could lead to you never have been being born. So basically you would be in a state where you don't even exist. Or maybe when you would go back to the future, you would realize everything was different. Your whole life had been changed just because you stepped on one little bug. It's crazy. I mean, the thought of that is terrifying. And obviously we don't have this technology yet, but someday, way down the line, we probably will. And thinking about this theory, we should really consider whether it should be used or not. Because who knows what effects it would have on our world. Okay, so back to the present time now. It is obvious that our world was shaped by the actions of those who came before us. And some of the smallest decisions have created this world that we live in today. And these decisions have become some of the most famous examples of the butterfly effect. In the 80s, a contract worker laid pipes in Guadalajara, Mexico. The worker had laid the sewer pipes in the same trenches dug for gasoline lines. The water pipes were made of zinc-coated iron, and the gas pipes were made of steel, a combination that leads to corrosion, thus creating gas leaks. And these gas leaks caused a series of explosions that destroyed the city and were felt hundreds of miles away. Okay, so because of the poor decision of one contract worker, it literally caused a whole city to explode. I'm just imagining being that worker. That's tough. I'm assuming this guy probably got sued. I I'm just gonna be straight up honest with you. Like I almost feel bad for him, but at the same time, you gotta know. So obviously the effect of that had a huge impact on that specific area and probably eventually in the world, but not quite in the way that these next two have. 
Plans to assassinate the Archduke Franz Ferdinand by the Black Hand terrorist group had so far been unsuccessful. A grenade lobbed at the Archduke's motorcade during a visit had missed and hit another car. The Archduke was determined to visit the injured, so he traveled to the hospital. But during the journey, he noticed that the driver was not going down the altered route that they had previously decided. As a driver began to back out, one of the men assigned to assassinate him, Gavrilo Princip, happened to be buying a sandwich at the corner where the car carrying the Archduke conveniently stopped right outside. Princip shot the Archduke and his wife, which plunged the world into a four-year war with millions of casualties. This is a double whammy right here. Because first of all, the driver took the wrong road. You got one job, dude. I'm sorry. You got to do it right. But because of this, the vehicle had stopped right outside a sandwich shop, which one of these terrorists was just chilling at eating a sandwich. And then that throws us into World War I. That literally, World War I was literally caused because of a sandwich. Henry Tandy was in France in 1918 fighting for the British Army when he decided to spare one German's life. Tandy was fighting to gain control of Mercoing and saw one injured German soldier trying to flee. Because he was injured, Tandy couldn't bear to kill him, so he let him go. The German soldier nodded and went on his way. And that German soldier was Adolf Hitler. You want to talk about a butterfly effect? This man decided to be a good human. He decided to be a good person and spare an injured man's life. And this man turns around and kills millions of people later on in his life. I can't fault the guy for not shooting him. Like, that's a respectable move. And there's no way he would have known the events that would eventually follow. But damn, that is just so unfortunate. I mean, think about how different our world would have been if he would have just pulled the trigger. So I think looking at these historical stories, it really shows us how real the butterfly effect is. And with the infinite number of decisions and actions being made every single day, I mean, there's no limit on the examples of these butterfly effects. And some people who have experienced this phenomenon firsthand have gone on to Reddit to share them with the world. I drunkenly agreed at a party the night before to go visit my friend's parents with him the next day in a city 200 miles away. It turned out another friend lived close by, so we all met for drinks, and that other friend's sister happened to be visiting him for the weekend. She came to meet us and she'd not seen me for a few years. We got drunk, a friend left early because he had to work the next day, and nine years later, we are married with two kids. A series of events which had one of any part not happened would have significantly altered the course of my life. This story is so crazy because you think about every single decision that had gone into it. I mean, initially getting drunk and initially agreeing to even go in the first place. This world is such a random place, but it's not random because our decisions go into making our outcomes, but it's still so random. I, I need help. This is consuming my life. I dropped dead at work 15 minutes after arriving. That's a good start. I was given CPR by coworkers, and the paramedics got my heart working again. Three weeks later, I'm out of the hospital and making a full recovery. Had this happened 15 minutes earlier, I'd have been in my car and possibly killed someone. 15 minutes later, I might be walking to get coffee and drop dead in the middle of the street. This was a job I had not planned on keeping very long as I freelance and was in the midst of a slow season. This job is also the first job to give me health insurance in 15 years. Every single thing I did in my life up until that point, every alcoholic drink, every cigarette in college, every toke of pot, 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 <laughs> pot <laughs> and night shift and every cheeseburger got my heart to stop at the best possible moment, surrounded by the best possible people. I can't do this anymore. This is freaking me out. I've officially, I, I'm, Every single thing that she did, every decision that she made in her life led her to that moment, led her to literally dying, but dying at the best time possible. I didn't know that that was a thing. What a great outlook on life that is. I had a crush on a guy when I was in fifth grade. He was a grade ahead of me. I finally told my parents about the crush. They ended up befriending the crush's parents, and my dad started working for the crush's dad. My dad borrowed the crush's dad's work van for a job and went to return it and then ride his bike home. He fell off his bike during that ride and died two weeks later. My mom, a few months later, started having an affair with the crush's dad who was still and still is married. That was 16 years ago and it's still going on. Okay, what the fuck? What 
Excuse me. The last one was so positive and uplifting. And then we get this. We get this? What the hell even? I'm not even sure that's the butterfly effect. That's just morbid. Talk about a lot of dark stuff on this channel. That might have been the darkest thing I ever read in my life. It's like a Stephen King novel. I probably should have screened that one before I read it, but you know what? Now I'm, it, it's out there. It, the, the world knows now. Okay, so we've heard some famous examples of the butterfly effect. We've heard some interesting Reddit examples, and now it's time for, well, the only examples that really matter. My own, because I'm all that matters here on this channel. It's a dictarian state over here. No, it's not. It is not. I love the people. Okay, let, let's get into the stories. So in my junior year of high school, my mom signed me up for a photo class. And right away, I wanted to drop this class. Now, around the same time, my friend decided to drop the class that he was taking at the same time of this photo class. And I eventually convinced him to take that photo class with me. And had he not, I would have immediately dropped it. So after a while, I met a girl who I became friends with in that class. And by the end of the year, I asked her out to go to a concert with me. And she said no. Now fast forward almost a year from now, and the same girl becomes a co-manager of the swim team that I was on. And because of this, we kind of reconnected a little bit. And eventually, we started dating. And we've been dating ever since, which has been now three and a half years, which is crazy. And it's crazy for a couple reasons. One of which being, had I just dropped that photo class, there is no way we would have been dating now. And also, had she said yes to going to that concert with me, our relationship, first of all, might not even be a thing right now, and things would have played out totally different. But it's also crazy because she was the one who actually convinced me to start this YouTube channel. She was kind of my motivation in a way. So had I dropped that photo class, I wouldn't be here right now making this video for you. So it's, it's changing all our lives now. And my last story is actually about this video that you're watching right now. Honestly, I never would have made this video had it not been for those two comments that I got suggesting it. So if they hadn't taken the time out of their day and had this idea and requested this idea, then you wouldn't be watching this right now, meaning your life would have been just a little bit different. So because of the decisions made by those two people that had commented these requests, your life would be a little bit different right now. And I'm not saying I had that much power over you guys, in which I clearly don't, but I'm just saying there would be slight differences made in your lives, which could eventually have led to other big outcomes and big changes and big events happening. And maybe they were all avoided because you guys were watching this video and because two people decided to request this. Well, that's about all I have for this video. I'm gonna go back to overthinking every single thing in my life. Uh, hopefully the subject doesn't make you as paranoid as it made me and is making me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon with another video.